I want to talk about trans because it is driving me crazy what is going on in our culture right now. And the reason that it's driving me crazy is because these are just people. And I don't even like using the term these as if there's some separate part of people. It's just people. We're all people. Hopes, sorrows, dreams, disappointments, rejection, sadness, ambition to become something different in our lives so that we have more happiness. We're all doing the exact same fucking thing. Why are we choosing as a culture to ostracize a particular group and punish them simply for being what they are? That is maddening. And it imposes a restriction on all of us. We will be a shitty society unless we can at least start with the idea that everybody has equal right to belong here as they are. Then we can collectively start to address the actual fucking problems. Let's take a look at the word trans. Where does transgender come from? Well, it's probably an evolution of terms like transvestite and transsexual that were coined in the late 1800s by Magnus Hirschfeld, a German sexual scientist whose Institute for Sexual Science was bombed and destroyed by the, guess who, Nazis. That's right, Nazis. We're eliminating trans from German society in 1933. That's what we talk about when we're saying the beginning of fascism. Because look what's happening here. Now, transgender is some sort of evolution of the idea of these alternative identities and genders. But let's look at the word trans. It is short for something, right? Transitional, transpositional. There are two abstract poles of male and female. Sometimes there is a position in between. It is transpositional. Or people are trying to transition from somewhere in here to somewhere over here. So let's talk about trans if we're going to talk about trans. The human condition is nothing but trans. You begin as non-existence, you will end as non-existence. Everything in your waking life from the moment you're born to the moment you die is a transition from non-existence to non-existence. You begin as a zygote, you become an infant, you become an adolescent, you become an adult, you become elderly, you die. Every single day of your life is a kind of transition. You are literally transitioning from one identity, infant, to another, adult, and your skin, your hair, your organs, everything about you is transitioning every day, on top of which every single one of us is trying to use our will and our power to adapt our life and circumstance to improve our happiness. All of us are we're trying to transition who we are into a place we feel more comfortable and happy. So why do these people get singled out for being something that's transitional when we're all transitioning? On top of which, Joe Rogan fills his body with steroids, chemicals to alter the composition and identity of his body. And kudos for him, he admits why. It's the vanity, totally understandable. He feels like he looks good as a semi-truck Neanderthal hybrid. So he fills himself with steroids. How is that different than somebody taking S estrogen to look the way they want to look on top of which anyone who takes Viagra is trans. You are transitioning from an impotent man. God, nature designed you to become impotent at some point in your life. You don't like it. So you take chemicals to alter your body and become a man with sexual functions. Same for everything we do health wise in our body pacemakers, stints, you name it. We're altering our body all the time to transition into something we like more. So why are we picking on these people? It makes no sense. And it is inhibiting our possibility of what we could become as a society. And I'm not talking utopia or Pollyanna. I'm simply saying there is a vision of America where the baseline is we accept each other as we are.